in the introductory example for this section on eigenvalues, I showed you that we were able to solve a certain problem by representing a vector in terms of a basis of eigenvectors, which is what it turned out to be. So the question is, naturally, can you always do that? And sadly, the answer is no. So it's possible to have defective eigenvalues. So we say that an eigenvalue lambda is defective if the dimension of its eigenspace is smaller than the multiplicity that it has as a root of the characteristic polynomial. So this means we crunch out determinant of a minus lambda i, and maybe we get a certain root showing up uh, twice or three times, but maybe you only get one eigenvector. Or maybe it shows up uh, with the order three, and, or multiplicity three, and you only have two eigenvectors that come out of it. Well, then we say it's defective. And if lambda is defective, then the eigenvectors of A can't form a basis of Rn because they don't span it. You don't have enough to span it. As a consequence, we need to cheat a little to get a basis made from eigenvectors. Um, we have to generalize a bit. So we say that if lambda is defective, and if v is a lambda eigenvector, then eta is a degenerate eigenvector if when you multiply it by a minus lambda i, instead of getting 0, uh, you get the eigenvector that you had back at the beginning. And so the, the reason for this definition is that um, this means that if you do a minus lambda i twice to eta, then you do get 0. Because if we write this out, it's a minus lambda i, a minus lambda i, eta. And we're saying that eta solves the equation a minus lambda i times it gives you v. That's, that's this uh, equation right here. So we can simplify it like that. But then we also agreed that v was a lambda eigenvector. And that means that this uh, term right here is equal to 0. OK. So how do we go about finding a degenerate eigenvector? So let's look at this matrix. We'll take a to be 5 minus 4, 0, uh, 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 5. All right. If we look at the characteristic polynomial for this guy, it is the determinant of uh, 5 minus lambda minus 4, 0, 1 minus lambda, 2, 0, 2, 5 minus lambda. And you can crunch that out, and you'll find minus uh, lambda cubed plus 5 lambda squared, uh, oh, sorry, plus 10 lambda squared. Uh, minus 25 lambda. And that works out to being um, minus lambda, lambda minus 5 quantity squared. So we have lambda equals 0, la sorry, lambda 1 equals 0, lambda 2 equals 5, and lambda 3 equals 5. So in particular, we have that the um, multiplicity of lambda 3 is 2. Now, going on to find the uh, eigenvectors for the 0 eigenvalue, um, we row reduce a minus 0i, which is just a. Um, and so this becomes 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 5 halves, 0, 0, 0. And so I get uh, 
minus 2t minus 5 halves t and t. So I can take v1 to be, uh, let's get rid of the fractions and the negative signs. So I'm going to take t to be minus 2, and then it looks like 4, 5, minus 2. Remember, I can take any t I want. It doesn't really matter. I just need one uh, representative for the eigenspace, and so that'll do it. Now when I do um, the second eigenvalue, lambda equal 2, uh, yeah, lambda equal 2, uh, I'm looking at a minus 5i, and this becomes uh, 0 minus 4, 0, 1 minus 5, 2, 0, 2, 0. And row reducing that gets me to 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And you notice right off the bat that um, I only have uh, one row of zeros. So that means the basis for the null space of this guy right here, um, this is one dimensional. It only has one free parameter, one uh, row of zeros. It's spanned by one vector. <coughs> OK, so um, or sorry, I said it, it only I should have said it only has one free parameter because of the one row of zeros. So it will be spanned by one vector. Um, okay, and so let's see. So we've got um, that the middle row is definitely zero because of uh, this equation here. And whoops, uh, here we go. Um, and then uh, taking this one to be t, we have um, minus 2t up there. So I can take v2 to be um, 2, 0, minus 1. And you see that uh, I only have uh, one eigenvector here. So in other words, I've got the uh, eigenspace for 5 is the span of uh, 2, 0, minus 1. So the dimension of E5 is 1, but that's strictly less than 2, which is the multiplicity of this eigenvalue. OK, so I need a defective eigenvector, because I need to have um, a third vector, so I have a, a basis for R3 that has at least mostly eigenvectors of R3. So I take the one that um, that I already have, and I'm going to solve a minus 5i, because 5 is my eigenvalue, times eta equals v. So in other words, I need to row reduce this augmented matrix right here. So I have the same uh, thing as before, 0 minus 4, 0. 1 minus 5, 2, 0, 2, 0 on the left. But now uh, there's more to it. I'm not solving a homogeneous equation. I've got a v tacked on there. So I bring in uh, the v from uh, the previous step. And then I row reduce. And I find um, 1, 0, 2 minus 5 over 2, uh, 0, 1, 0, minus 1 half, 0, 0, 0, 0. And so I end up with uh, a solution that looks like 5 halves minus 2t, 1 half, and t. And I can pull this apart into the, the constant portion. and the, um, the part that's got a t in it. And you find that this looks like um, my new thing plus 
a solution to the homogeneous equation that I already found back on the, the previous step. So I get my generalized eigenvector to be minus 5 halves minus 1 half 0. Now, I don't get to clean this one up. I don't get to multiply it by minus a half to make it all positive integers or anything else like that because these degenerate things do not form an eigenspace. So that's it. I have to stop here. I don't get to tidy it up, make it pretty, etc. That's just my answer. That's our degenerate eigenvector.